Hello and welcome back to Alex Goes Sailing. Today's paint day, I've decided the sun is out for long enough. Uh, I can get these somewhat painted, maybe one side. We'll see how the paint dries. But I've got to clean these off because you can see I've got a bit of dust on my hands. So yeah, we're going to wipe these down. We're going to lay them out outside and uh, we can get to painting. The paint I'm going to use is this Jotun stuff. can't remember exactly what it is. I'll probably see it somewhere. Hardtop AX. Uh, it's two part white. Painted the entire boat with it inside and out. And it's good stuff. So yeah, we're going to put this on those boards, these floor pieces, and then a little bit inside the boat as well. So yeah, let's get cracking. paint out, hard top, and then I've got my measuring jug which I'm also going to use for the paint because using one of these trays is just a pain. Got the scales in a bag at the kitchen and then I've got a table here of uh, weights and mine's near the top so I've got to do uh, 570 by 106 of the two parts and that should do me about half a litre maybe. Let's see how much we need, I might need a little bit more. I'd rather make less than more because uh, I don't have too much left of this stuff and I've got a little bit more painting to do. It doesn't hurt to save some. So yeah, I'm gonna measure this out and get cracking. Oh, before I get started, I might as well put gloves on. Saves me washing up my hands. <laughs> All right, let's get in there, mixed up boys. And just separate it a little bit so it needs good mixing. This uh, roller here, mini roller. So uh, it does flake off sometimes, but I just put on another set of gloves on top of this and just pinch them out, and I can remove it as I do. So yeah, let's get going. next day I've decided I'm going to do some more painting but if you look here we have everything painted up and it's turned out quite well as you can see uh, finish is pretty good so I'm quite happy with that you can see quite a little bit shiny as you can just make out the numbers through the paint which is perfect so yeah they all came out well and the finger holes came out really well so yeah Pretty perfect. All I've got to do now really is the other side um, and I do have to do a little bit of sanding where the finger hole was because there's a little bit overrun of paint but that is it um, so just a nice coat on this side and uh, should be dandy. I don't have to do the floors because the floors uh, are only one side and uh, they're done so I'm going to flip these over get them cleaned up with any excess runs that I have to sort out and then I'll mix up some more paint and get around to painting. But on the inside of the boat, painted all of these sides here, all the way around the boat. And uh, I touched up that corner there where I had a bit of a, uh, some of that glue just come down because uh, those panels at the bottom are just glued on. Um, just so they're easy to pull back if I have to access the bolts. <laughs>
just about to fit new hinges. As you can see, the holes here are slightly bigger than the old screw was. And the problem with the old screw is, one, it's A2 stainless, so that's 306, which is not as rust resistant, which isn't too bad as it's inside, but I want to get A4. And I don't know if you can see this, this screw is quite long. That's 16 millimeters, and my board is about 10-ish. This sticks out at the bottom and it spikes. And Sam can tell you that it spikes because many times he stabbed himself with it. It's quite funny, but I don't really get stabbed with it, but I'm changing that purely for Sam. So the screws I've got is these little ones. So it's a four stainless, and this is a posi head, um, not a Phillips head, so it's stronger and I won't strip it as easily. Also, the head's bigger, so it should fit in the hole quite nicely. I don't know if you can see the posi head there. Not too much different, but takes a lot more torque, so that's good. So I've got a nice big pack of these. Um, we're gonna screw all of these hinges to all my freshly painted boards. Right, so we've got all our boards in now. This at the bottom says S3, so it's gonna go just down here. pick out all of these hinges. So on each of the hinges I put a number. So this is P1, so this will be all the way down that. We've got another one here, what's that, S2. So that will be down here. And then I'll just do that for the rest of them. Right, that's all of them in ready. So I'm just going to go around and screw them all in. gonna screw in the rest of these now. So this is gonna take quite a long time because there's a lot of these screws. So let's get started. Right, so that fit is with no sanding at all and they open quite nicely. I'm just gonna do these two now and see how I get on with those. They shouldn't be too bad because they look like they both fit at the moment. And then I've just gotta do the other side and then the front one. The front one might be a little bit more difficult. This side, absolutely perfect. Opens and shuts, perfectly flat. And these holes are actually really good that I've actually routed them at the bottom. So quite happy with that too. And these hinges are looking quite smart all the way around the boat. Right, done every single hinge on the seats. So they just lift up quite nicely now and sit back down. No rubbing, perfect first time. One I have left to do is the electrical one for the electrical cupboard that folds down. I've just got to screw this on. Alright, it's quite good. But fits pretty snug up there, up and down. Lock it away. Yeah, and this chain's work still. Not even rusty as well, because they're probably coated in a lot of oil. But yeah, pretty smart. Right, just got all of the hinges done. Everything's perfect in here. Just got to wait on the cushions. But I think the next projects I'm going to tackle, possibly headlining and maybe a couple others. I'm not exactly sure what you're going to see next. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.